Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, my name is Karina. I hope you subscribe and join my little lash team. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yes, we are a consistent sister. As you can see by the title, today we are doing a dupe with a question mark. So if you guys follow Anastasia Beverly Hills on Instagram or any other social media platform, you guys may know that she recently released like a new line, I guess. This is their new spring launch and it contains the Riviera palettes. She also launched her new uh, dip brow gel. Can we speak? She also came out with some loose highlighters. Now, I am a sucker for loose highlighters. Like, I just love them. I love blinding highlighters. And when I saw this one at my local Sephora, I was like, minding my own business, you know, at Sephora. I was shopping. <laughs> and then I came across a highlighter. I was like, ooh, let me buy this. So I decided to pick it up, and this is what the packaging looks like. But as soon as I swatched that, I was like, oh my god. This looks eerily similar to the new Wet n Wild Hustle and Glow highlighting thing that I have here. <laughs> and I've been using this for the past maybe like week and a half. So I was like, these look super, super similar. We are going to put them to the test. As you can see, I don't have any highlight on my face except on my nose because I contour and it makes a difference. So we are going to be putting these two products to the test. Um, high-end versus drugstore we're gonna see if they are a dupe and if they are a dupe I want you guys to tell me which one is better without further ado and before I talk too much I do want to say really 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 quickly I just want to give a huge shout out to every single one of you thank you guys so much for making my birthday extra special if you guys missed it Monday was my birthday March 11th hashtag team Pisces you guys showed me so much love on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, and on here. So thank you guys so much for making my day like extra special. Just as a little thank you, I have a little giveaway coming very soon. So make sure that you are following me on my Instagram. I will leave it listed down below. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, let me put my hair back because I do not want to get any highlighter on my hair. Guys, my hair has gotten so long. There's times that I just like want to cut it, but then I'm like, no, I don't want to cut it because I've let it grow for so long. And I've been meaning to tell you guys, I am doing this like 30 day challenge with these bio 10 vitamins. Um, I posted them on my Instagram and tons of you said that it works. I mainly wanted them for my skin and also for my hair because I just want my hair to be a little bit longer. And because I do put, put, put because I do put so much heat on my hair, it tends to get dry and then I go and have my sister cut it. Anyway, we're not here for hair, okay? So first things first, let's look at the packaging. We're going to be comparing packaging, pricing, and then the actual product, so PPP. Looking at the products or looking at the packaging right next to each other, Obviously, you can see that the Anastasia one is way smaller. With this one, you are getting 0.21 ounces. And with this one, you're getting 0.28 ounces. So you're getting a little bit more. The packaging is obviously a little bit bulkier on the Wet n Wild side versus the Anastasia one. This one is a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. And then the top, the Anastasia one takes the cake. For me, the packaging, I am going to say that what, or that Anastasia, oh my God, I cannot talk. I'm going to say that the packaging for this round, Anastasia, definitely takes a cake. I mean, it's just beautiful. This is one of those products that you just want to display because it's so pretty to look at. And the Wet n Wild one, it's a little bit bulky, like I said. Um, I hate having this in my like highlighter drawer because it is packed in there. And this is just like bulky everywhere. But I do like it. I do. It's cute packaging. It's okay. Next category is prize touching money. This is where we're going to be saving some coins. Maybe the Anastasia loose highlighter retails for twenty five dollars. Wet n Wild one retails for seven dollars and forty nine cents on their website. I actually picked mine up at my local Ulta. The Wet n Wild one is going to win the category and prize. 
Now let's look into the actual products. And Wet n Wild has four different shades. They have like lighter ones, they have a pink champagne, and then they have a deeper one. The one that I am going to be using today is called Hustle and Glow. This is the one that I have. Okay, so the Anastasia one, this one only comes in three different shades. And I have owned the Anastasia palettes before, but I never bought like her compact highlighters. So I was really excited to pick this one up. This is the only shade that I knew would fit my skin tone because the next one was more of a copper and that one will suit uh, deeper skin tones better but this one if you're about medium skin tone this might be the color for you and this is in the shade So Hollywood. Okay enough with the talking let's get these little babies on let's see if they're going to be a dupe. What do you guys think before we get started? Do you guys think are going these are going to be a dupe? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Okay, so on this side, we are going to be testing the Anastasia. And on this side, we are going to be testing the Wet n Wild. I'm going to use my Milani brush because I think this is my favorite out of them all. And I'm going to use them both or the same brush on both sides so it's a fair application. So let's go in. And I haven't tried this one, the Anastasia one, because I just bought it like two days ago. Oh my god, that is so pretty. Why why are highlighters such a weakness of mine? First impressions is wow, there is a lot of like uh pigment in there. I like to blend mine down a little bit just so there's not like a line of highlight. And I do like to bring mine up right here as well this is intense a little goes a long 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 way so just don't be too generous now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take my little sephora veramona color switch thing <gasps> you guys this is such a lifesaver i actually need to wash mine but what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to swirl the brush around to make sure that there is no residue from the abh highlighter and then I am going to go in this side with the Wet n Wild highlighter. I'm just going to finish off my face on this side really quickly. And I'm going to tell you guys a funny little story that happened to me today. So <clears throat> I had to go in and renew my license because um, it expired yesterday for my birthday and they didn't have any openings yesterday so whatever I ended up going today and when I first took my license I think that was or when I first had my picture taken I think it was back in like 2014 so now it expired I went into the DMV no phase like I didn't have any of this working for me like my hair was straight and that was about it and I don't know what I was thinking. I thought they were going to use my old picture because all I had to do was renew my license. And the guy, when I walk in, I'm like, oh, you know, I need to renew my license. He's like, okay, sit down. We're going to take a picture. I was like, whoa, hold your horses. What do you mean we got to take a picture? Aren't we going to use the old one? He's like, no. Anytime you renew your license, you need a new picture. I was like, honey, I am not ready. Do you see this face? I just woke up. I have lagañas on my eyes mascara on like my pestañas it was a bad idea okay so he took the picture i was praying to the gods that i look cute i look so busted in my driver's license my eye looks like this <laughs> it just wasn't good news at all i just thought i'd share my sad story with you guys <laughs> what do you guys think i want you guys to be the judge in my eyes i see no difference but let me tell you something that when i did swatch them side by side there is a small difference and and I'm going to show you guys what that difference is in just one second. So this is the Wet n Wild highlighter. This is the Anastasia one and this is the Wet n Wild one. So as you can see, the Anastasia is a little bit more of a beaming highlight. It has more of that oomph in it and it's definitely a lot more of a yellow gold. I like a white gold I guess I don't know yellow gold it's a really pretty gold color and then the wet and wild one is looks it looks a little bit more toned down but it's still bright and intense and I would say that this one has more of a like peach golden 
there's my alarm. Anyway, so yeah, that is the only difference. But again, like applied on the skin, if you guys can see a difference, let me know because I personally do not see it whatsoever. It looks like I'm wearing the same highlighter all over my skin. So now it's just up to you guys whether you choose to pay for the name brand because at this point that's what it comes down to. So what do you guys think? Which one do you have, if any? And if you don't have any, are you going to pick any of these up? I know that there's different shades in this. So there might be another shade that suits this one more, but again, in my eyes, they both look the same. So that is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this dupes video. If you want to see another one, because I have another dupe in mind that I want to see if it is a dupe. Um, if you guys enjoy these short little videos, please let me know. And I am more than happy to do them for you guys. I love you so much with all my corazón. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.